Hey yo, what's going on fellas? How we doing? Alright, so today I'm gonna show you how to clean your chain, how to lubricate your chain and how to adjust the chain, you know, how to align the rear wheel. But before we get started, I'm about to show you which cleaning agent or which lubricating agent is the best, you know, and which one is not. I've got practically everything over here, you know, throttle body cleaner, choke cleaner, petroleum, kerosene oil, engine oil, brake oil, you know, uh, this brush is getting pretty famous nowadays. I don't know, I was the first all about it. I even got myself grease. Some people like to use grease, so I'm about to show you uh, which one to use and which one to not, all right? So uh, this uh, this is a stage three process. So number one, we're gonna clean the chain. Number two, we're going to adjust the chain. We're gonna align the rear wheel. And number three, we're going to lubricate the chain. Lubrication, yeah, that comes in uh, in the end. So first of all, we're gonna start by taking the front sprocket on. Then we're gonna move along all right so one more thing some people like to clean their chain you know while they uh, their bike is running you know they put their motorcycle into gear first gear and they start uh, their engine and uh, they uh, let the front wheel rolling i mean i've seen some people they are using some sort of this sort of technique you know while their uh, rear wheel is running you know in gear well guys that's really not safe that's a great way of losing your fingers i mean look at this guy uh, he was probably cleaning his chain and he was also making a video and uh, his uh, fingers got caught in the rear sprocket uh, may god uh, help him uh, in speed recovery but uh, you can see the results of these uh, you know it's it's dangerous man it's just it's simple as that you know you are just literally able, like placing your fingers in your rear sprocket and in first gear your motorcycle your rear wheel gets a lot of torque so that's a pretty shitty idea, you know, don't do that. If you want to clean your chain like this, just turn your motorcycle off, put it in neutral and just you can do some sort of this, right? If you want to, but don't just put your bike in gear and start it off, okay? I mean, that's a shitty idea. Just don't do that. I mean, look at this guy, man. I feel bad for him. So, uh, lubrication. Let's get right through it.
on with cleaning the chain as you can see the color of the chain has been restored which was gray originally you can see uh, don't worry about these two links I added them afterwards uh, but you can see the rest it's gone white I mean it had gone black so uh, you can see uh, I'd like to use petroleum as a cleaning agent because I've tried using diesel I've tried using kerosene oil WD-40 I've got this uh, rust lick it's a pretty good product as well you know I like to uh, use this product over WD-40 all the time so uh, WD-40 is sitting over there along with throttle body cleaners yeah uh, one more thing uh, uh, do not use these uh, choke cleaners or throttle body cleaners uh, as a you know uh, the acetone inside can pretty much damage your o-rings or x-rings you can see it's written right over here toluene acetone and methanol uh, both these uh, throttle body and choke cleaners they are pretty bad for your chain never ever use them all right so petroleum you can use them and uh, you can try it out using this same technique you know uh, just loosen up the chain you know remove the front sprocket and uh, try uh, uh, using this technique you know uh, use al aluminium container so I'm about to uh, tighten up the chain now and I'm about to show you uh, you can see first uh, we have already loosened up the uh, axle bolts you know this nut was over here we have already loosened it up so we're about to uh, you can see over here let me show you we've got marks over here you can see now we're gonna spin this nut this bolt this is a bolt actually this one is a nut and we're gonna spin it in counterclockwise direction it's going to push this axle this entire tire towards the rear and it's going to build the tension in the chain all right so I'm gonna show you uh, you're gonna need a 10 mm you can see I'm gonna just you can just uh, first you can just manually uh, pull the tire towards the rear see like this as much as you can it's just gonna make it easier for you to manually spin this bolt from both the sides all right so we're done with this side I'm gonna do the other side as well right over here see you see we're spinning it in counterclockwise direction and it's gonna push the rear tire towards rear so uh, it's going to build the uh, tension in the chain and you can see the chain has gone quite tight now uh, but uh, uh, always uh, it's a rule you know you always leave one inch free play so we're gonna tighten it a little bit further you can see tension is building up we're gonna push it further now don't worry about uh, uh, this little thing over here I've added two more links in the chain this chain is 114 link originally KTM RC 390 has a 112 link chain and RC 200 has a 110 link chain uh, this one is 140 so I'll have to spin this you know otherwise this side is uh, always uh, facing uh, forward so don't worry about it it's pretty much the same now you can see uh, I have to tighten it up a little bit more and you can see right there is good now uh, another thing to uh, consider when you are aligning your rear wheel is uh, now everyone can uh, align uh, according to these marks but some people forget uh, make sure this little thing is parallel to your swing arm you know sometimes let me show you what can happen is uh, uh, let me show you on the other side you see uh, sometimes it can happen like this it can go like this and you can uh, mismark these uh, points so make sure that this little point is parallel to both your swing arms this thing okay so uh, now we're gonna uh, align these marks on both the sides all right so make sure uh, it's pretty important that this over uh, let me focus on it this little thing these two are perpendicular or oh, sorry parallel to the swing arm okay so if it's like this or it's like in the upward direction let me show you let me loosen up the bolt a little bit you see like this you can push it and uh, you can have misalignment on both sides so make sure it's parallel to these two points now we can uh, mark you can see so this middle dent the first dent is in the second last mark and is right in the middle all right so you can see over here you can see the first the first mark is right in the middle of the second last mark on the top on the swing arm mark 
So make sure this mark is the same on the other side. So let's go on the other side. If it doesn't match, you're gonna have to uh, push it a little bit further. Yep, you can see the first mark is right beneath in the middle of the second last mark. So this is how you align your wheels. So to tighten it up, you can just push this forward by spinning it clockwise direction. So uh, before you tighten these uh, alignment bolts, make sure to tighten up your axle nut, this one, all right? So here we go. All right, so we're done. Now you can push this tighten it as much as possible and you can tighten this as well you know make sure this bolt doesn't spin so hold it off right here and start spinning it downwards you see right keep don't let this move downwards all right all right it's done let's get the other side as well you know it's as simple as that uh, I don't know why people are making fuss this is like the easiest part you know tightening your chain or aligning your rear wheel now hold it all right over here don't let it move upward this one over here let me just uh, grab the camera over here you can see now hold it right over here you know don't let it uh, move upwards and you just tighten it up be nice there you go all right, so over here, yeah. chain feels kind of smooth after cleaning, huh? So make sure to align the marks really nice. You can see, uh, you can check the marks on both of them. Yeah. Okay, so there was uh, cleaning the chain and adjusting the chain, aligning your rear wheel. Now we're coming to uh, lubing portion you know these are the lubricating agents that people prefer you know this is module lube this is uh roland this is wd-40 rustlick this is some uh, you know uh, 10 w40 engine oil and this is a uh, brake fluid i don't know some people use it as both cleaning agent and lubricating agent you can just knock it out it's neither one you know you can't use it as a lubricating or as a cleaning agent so you can just uh, take out your brake fluid then comes grease you know you can't yeah grease is great but you can't use it uh, uh, specifically in this area you know your chain is gonna spit it out you know at uh, uh, right when you go past 50 kilometers per hour your chain is gonna spit it out it's gonna deposit all over your front sprocket cover and your rear alloy now that leaves us with uh, these wd-40s uh, yeah, these chain lubes and uh, you know this engine oil now this wd-40 and rustlick they're pretty much the same thing you know i like to prefer uh, rustlick but uh, uh, you know, uh, some people just spray WD-40 and they just leave the chain right out. Uh, first, let me tell you, uh, this, uh, these chain loops, they have these sticking properties. Uh, for example, this module, you know, uh, and the WD-40, you know, uh, this WD-40 does not stick to your chain. Whereas your module lube, it sticks right in. It's same as uh, engine oil or uh, WD-40. If you use either one of these, your chain is going to spit them out. I repeat, you know, these are going to uh, uh, get uh, scattered all over your rear alloy and your uh, front sprocket cover. So don't use these alone. All right, so I'm going to show you a perfect combination of WD-40 and your uh, uh, chain lube because your chain lube sticks to your chain, you know. Uh, if you only use this WD-40, you know, your uh, the moment you go past 50 kilometers per hour, your chain is going to spit it out. So I'm going to show you a technical method of using them, all right? So uh, also some people uh, like to use these brushes as cleaning agent. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it's just, uh, it's great. Actually, I've tried it a couple of times, but, uh, you know, I like to use petrol and uh, these uh, nylon brush to be much more effective, you know, using a metal container or something the way I just showed you. And uh, okay, so let's get back to the uh, lubrication i'm going to show you what uh, lubricant to spray how to spray when to spray where to spray and uh, how long you should uh, let it stay right there all right 
okay so i'm about to use this wd-40 first and i'm about to show you uh, where to spray right so people uh, what they do is they're gonna start uh, spraying crazily on it but the thing is uh, the only purpose of o-ring and x-rings is they are uh, to be dipped inside the oil all the time the uh, these o-rings they are oily that's all that matters you know you don't need to spray in the middle okay so i'm about to show you uh, the let me just uh, get the right angle okay my camera is falling okay here we go so you don't need to start your motorcycle just to uh, you can just start spraying over here that's it don't spray too much you know your target should be on the edges on the o-rings only don't spray in the middle and spray only on this side you don't have to spray it on this side if you want you can just uh, give it a just one spin only if you want only now uh, I'm gonna show you just target on the o-rings on the o-rings okay you don't need to spray in the middle all right here we go that's it that's enough all right you don't need to uh, get the entire chain wet now uh, let this uh, WD-40 uh, penetrate into your oil o-rings for a while, you know, uh, let it soak it in for just 5 minutes or so. And then, you know, some people just leave it right there. But then you're gonna wanna spray this uh, chain loop. What this does is it's going to help your WD-40 to stick into the chain. Because if you just leave it right now, your chain, you know, the entire WD-40 is gonna be uh, deposited on your rear LY. You don't want that. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen many people make this mistake. So, you know, uh, their uh, front sprocket covers get dirty. Their, uh, you know, this uh, entire WD-40 is like uh, soaking. It's uh, coming out of it. It's dripping down on their uh, the side stand. So, uh, let it soak it uh, for five minutes, and then we're gonna spray lube just like we have sprayed this WD-40. Because the reason is it's going to help your WD-40 stick to the chain. All right. So. Let's just wait for 5 minutes, let your WD-40 uh, penetrate into your o-ring and your uh, uh, these uh, chain pins and then we're gonna spray this uh, chain lube, alright? Okay, so it's been 5 minutes, now we're gonna start spraying the chain lube in a similar fashion. We were spraying this uh, WD-40. You don't need to start your motorcycle, alright? Just uh, spin your tire using your hand. that's it that's enough you don't need to spray too much and we're gonna get the this side as well okay that's it now uh, we're not just done yet uh, you can see there's extra left on the outer side of this chain you might want to wipe it using a piece of cloth many people uh, forget this part because uh, if you don't do this you know it's gonna it, you can see it's already spitting out you can see it's already depositing on my rear LY, so we're gonna just take a piece of cloth and wipe off the extra. I mean, 80% of the mechanics in India forget this part, you know. Because the major portion is there, you don't need uh, uh, this chain to get wet. Our O-rings are uh, dipped in oil, that's enough, you know. These O-rings are doing their part. So, uh, get both the outside and the inner chain as well, let's see. Just wipe it off nice and easy. You know, whenever you're working on this side, make sure to spin your tire towards backwards. That's a bad idea if you're spinning this way. You know, your fingers can get caught in a sprocket. So, uh, you know, better careful. You know, prevention is always better than cure. I mean, I've seen many mechanics and, uh, you know, lathe machine workers getting their fingers chopped off. Uh, doing jobs like this and never put your motorcycle in gear while you're doing stuff like this let me just okay so we're done the little bit of oil you can see of uh, you know the petrol you can just wipe it off using the same piece of cloth you see it's gone all right so our chain has been lubed cleaned and has been adjusted let me show you from the rear yep it's fine i've been using this uh, dunlop 160 mm wide 70 percent profile so
so you know i had to put this uh, 45 tooth sprocket back on originally i was using 42 tooth and on the front i had to use a 14 tooth sprocket you know to counter the gear ratio by this uh, that has been affected by this big ass tire you know this tire is actually one inch uh, larger in diameter than the stock 150 mat zeller so uh, it kind of looks cool actually you know it kind of looks big i mean this is the maximum tire you can uh, uh, maximum wide tire you can install in KTM RC390 you know 160mm 70% profile I've also tried to use uh, 180mm 55% profiles but they don't look as big as this one because you know 55% profile your alloy tightens them up but this is a 70% profile uh, originally I had to stretch the chain to bring it as uh, as much back as possible because it was kind of grinding with the swing arm you can see the marks I had to add extra two links in the chain to pull it backward as much as possible. So, uh, you know, uh, people are uh, kind of crazy about this WD-40. Uh, let me talk about it, man. I mean, you can't just spray it over uh, spinning parts because uh, the major difference between this and your uh, chain lube is your chain lube sticks. All right, but this one doesn't. I mean, if you're uh, like. Uh, uh, you know this uh, switch is feeling kind of uh, spongy or anything you feel free to spray on it if your uh, gate lock is feeling kind of uh, you know it's uh, feeling rough and tough you can spray on it but you know chain or moving parts you can't spray WD-40 on it I mean uh, it doesn't stick your uh, moving parts is gonna spit it out you know more than uh, uh, 300 rpm it doesn't hold up I've tried using in various motor parts and all that you know uh, it's gonna wanna start to come off so uh, our chain has been cleaned, lubed and tightened, you know, according to the specs. And also make sure to leave the one inch free play, a vertical free play on your chain because when you're riding on the, you know, rough roads, uh, your uh, uh, rear suspension pounces. So that's when the free play comes into play. So uh, uh, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this method of cleaning the chain and lubricating. And uh, because I found it uh, very uh, convenient and efficient and uh, like uh, WD-40 really, you know, it helps uh, you know uh, putting a life into your chain so uh, i've tried various products you know i've tried everything there is i've tried using engine oil this brush i've tried using uh, I mean, i've never used that brake oil though i don't know why some people use it so because that's just a you know i don't know it's not a cleaning agent it's not a lubricating agent i mean it's a dot four brake oil i don't know why people use it also don't try to use uh, grease as well so this is a dot four uh, bosch brake oil I like to use petrol only, you know, don't use uh, these throttle bodies as well, throttle body cleaners. Okay, so I've also performed service, you know, make sure to check out those videos as well. Uh, service, uh, I've cleaned the entire bike, the front brakes and everything, you know, change the engine oil, the engine coolant, uh, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, everything, spark plug has been installed, uh, the NGK radium one. So make sure to check out that video as well, you know. And uh, if you haven't cleaned your throttle body and uh, fuel injector, make sure to clean that as well. So anything else uh, i don't think so there was some rust left inside the fuel tank you know i've cleaned that as well you know make sure to check out that video i'm posting it along this video as well all right so thank you for watching this video guys goodbye